the first thing that we need to do is recreate our scene in Blender. The easiest way I found to do this is to create a plane and then adjust the camera so that the plane matches with the floor of the background footage. Now in this shot in specific, you can't really see the floor that well, so I kind of just had to match it as close as possible. Next, I'm going to start building the walls and with that, all I did was add subdi subdivision. <laughs> Next, I'm going to start building the walls. And so for that, I pretty much just added subdivisions to the plane and then extruded the edges. Now, it's not going to be perfect, especially if you don't have that much experience with modeling like me. I honestly really don't like modeling, but I do want to get better at it. And there are other ways you can approach this step without having to model, such as photo scanning your room. But I've never done that. So like, I don't want to give you guys information that I don't even know of but I will learn how to do that soon and then make a video on it. But the most important thing is to make the modeling look as accurate through the camera itself. Because when you're modeling the bedroom, even if it doesn't look that good from the outside, as long as it looks pretty accurate when you're like inside the camera, I don't know if that was the best choice of words. As long as it looks pretty accurate through the camera, then you should be good. I then modeled some other small things in the bedroom just to add that extra detail and make the lighting more accurate. Also, you want to make sure that everything that you're modeling, it makes sure it's set to shadow catcher. That way it will only render the shadows and you won't get that. Yeah, just leave shadow catcher on. I don't need to do all that extra explanation. Now, once you're done modeling, we're going to start adding in our characters. Mixamo is a great website for finding characters and animations. If you don't like animating like me, then this is the website for you. And this is not sponsored, by the way. Why do I always talk about sponsors like in almost every video? Now, once you find a character in an animation that you like, you can go ahead and export it. Now, since we already modeled the bedroom, it's going to be extremely easy to place our characters. And I didn't really have a clear vision of the shot. I kind of just recorded a section of my room and then was planning just to add characters to fill in the space, which is what I did. Now it's time to light our scene. This is a pretty easy step, but it's also a very important step because this step is what's really gonna sell your shot. This is pretty self-explanatory. I just added lights in the scene to where the lights actually were when I was filming the shot. And all I really had to do was just match the color and the brightness. As you can see in the shot, we have like very accurate lighting. And for the little purple light that I had on the bed, all I did for that was model out a cube, set it to shadow catcher, and I used the emission settings in the shader tab. And once you've done all that, you're good to render out your animation. Now, once your animation is rendered, we can go on After Effects and put the animation on top of the original footage. All we really need to do now is just add some slight color correction and really just whatever you want. In the final shot, I added some camera movement and some glow, but that's really it. Now, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and like. And I'm really trying hard to stay consistent and also bringing out high quality content. But if you don't know, I am a full time college student and around this time is when finals is starting. So it's a very stressful time and really hard to get good quality content out. But I do have a lot of special things coming out, such as a new series. I'm starting a new series on this channel that I'm really excited for. I'm not gonna say too much about it, but let's just say there's gonna be a lot of collaborations and just entertaining stuff. That That's all I'm gonna say right now. So yeah, make sure you leave suggestions in the comments for more type of videos you want me to make or tutorials you want me to cover. And I'll see y'all next week.